it's over. It's finally over. The fog of Tropnir, the ice of Vandalin, the meteors of Maya, the jungle of the creek. I've been in the west for so long that I can hear the automaton chants in my sleep. It's finally over. Welcome back, Helldivers. It is official. Operation Swift Disassembly has been completed. A successful mission in destroying automaton control across the galactic map. These evil, horrible, vile socialist machines have been eradicated. But I cannot help but fear that they will be back at some point. But do not fear. When they return, we will yet again disassemble them swiftly. That being said, before the operation was a success, we did hear about a battle plan from the automaton forces known as the Reclamation. So let's take a little look into what exactly that plan could have been had we failed. Let's begin. Around the recent liberation of the Malevolon Creek system, we began intercepting automaton communications that made mention of the Reclamation. But with no explicit battle plans laid out in these transmissions, we were left to wonder what exactly the plan was. A Reclamation, of course, is the process by which you reclaim or retake something that was once lost. Many Super-Earth scholars theorized at the time that this plan was in relation to the planet Cyberstan. We know from early automaton communications that these murderous bots are the descendants of the Cyberstan Collective that were defeated nearly a hundred years ago in a different galactic war. The planet Cyberstan was liberated, and all remaining cyborg socialists were put to work in the mines to continue production of harvesting the planet's natural resources. Now, we haven't heard much from Cyberstan since the last Galactic War, since the cyborgs have been contained, but obviously their ideologies have not. It would make sense that their children, the automatons, would want to free them and reclaim their home planet. Interestingly enough, in the past, the cyborgs have spoken out about wanting to be left alone in the grand scheme of the Galactic War, that they want no part in Super-Earth's democracy, and would prefer to just be left alone. This, of course, is a total lie. I mean, after all, just look at these grotesque beings in their appearance, and their clear lack for care of Lady Liberty. It proves that they are anti-democratic to their core, and must be eradicated. Now, I am pretty certain that the Reclamation was the Automaton's master plan to work their way towards Cyberstan in an attempt to free their forefathers, but let's theorycraft a little bit about what else could have happened during this plan had we failed Operation Swift Disassembly. We have definitely seen the Automaton forces being beefed up with new enemies like the Factory Striders and the Gunships and the presence of their battleships orbiting planets. But think about this. What would happen if the automatons had ushered in another one of our enemies to distract us during this mission? We have all seen the rumors and countless videos of strange happenings on automaton-controlled planets. The Illuminate are coming back. There is no doubt in my mind, or really anyone's mind at this point. They are out there and I do believe they are coming back. But the timing of their return might have just coincided perfectly with the automaton's plan for reclamation had we not stopped them. These two factions are not friends, but they do share a common enemy, us, and more broadly, managed democracy. We have staved off a war on two fronts with the automatons and terminids, but with our forces spread so thin across the galaxy destroying the bots, what if they were to usher in the return of the Illuminate? I fear at that point we would have faced our hardest battle yet, learning the tactics of a enemy long forgotten while also fighting back the brutal might of the automatons might have stretched us just too far. The reclamation has been stopped. Thankfully, but that doesn't quell my fears that the Illuminate are just around the corner. We have recently been told that Seif artillery and military might has been placed in the different Severin sector systems to ensure that the automatons do not return, but I fear that while we are celebrating our victory over the socialist bots that we have finally defeated, that the Illuminate are just around the corner. 
There is a time to celebrate. It is a great time to be joyful in the managed democracy system. But again, we must keep our eyes peeled out there because the Illuminate are out there. The automatons must also never be allowed to fully return. After all, if they return and retake Cyberstan, where will our children above the age of seven go to work? So let's keep pushing back the bots wherever we find them. For democracy, for freedom, and most importantly, for the children. I mean, they've got to work in the mines. What else are they going to do? That's literally their job. Thanks for watching the video. I definitely have to be on my feet a lot more when it comes to these things as when I was writing this video this morning, we had not completed Operation Swift Disassembly and right as I was recording this video, the text message went out from Helldivers HQ that we had completed the mission. Keep an eye out for those Illuminate. They're around the corner. The, the automatons have been defeated, but we all know that, that they are... They are still out there. They will be back. And I fear, I fear that they will come back right at the same time the Illuminate will be knocking on our doorstep. And then we will have three enemies to face. It is definitely going to be a difficult time to fight for managed democracy. But we will win. We always come out on top. Thanks for watching. And as always, go spread democracy.